All right, Shalom, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Hadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word is sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Ties of War. Um, back at you again with another lesson, and uh, this show is going to be quick. You know, it's going to be straight to the point. Um, here's an article, uh, basically, that I came across. Um, I saw. Um, this headline based on a YouTuber, a blogger, uh, brothers know him. You probably should know him from, um, from uh, what is it, the Ghetto Boys, uh, Willie D. You know, he got his own YouTube page and he be talking about certain topics. And uh, he came across the feed and I saw it. So I started digging, you know, because he was just basically stating his opinion and, and um, why black people, you know, are upset with Jay-Z. But um, I looked it up. On um, Google, I saw a couple of articles with the title, and um, I picked this one. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and this article is from Black America Web. Let me see. Yep, BlackAmericaWeb.com. All right, and this is uh, Jay Z. It says Jay Z slammed for investing in company that tracks parolees with GPS software. All right, and as um, soon as I saw this, it reminded me of nip the neighborhood crip all right the one that you know uh got killed senseless you know a senseless murder out there in la and um you know one thing that he was invested in uh was microchips all right and this is a rapper so now you know and i also seen um how jay-z admired uh neighborhood nip you know as well because of his mind you know his mind and uh, things that he had planned as far as the future here in Babylon, which is all vain, okay? You know, let me tell you something. You guys out there that's chasing the dream, chasing to be rich, investing, and putting all your trust in this place, what you call America, North America, hey, it's going to be destroyed, man, all right? And you're going to be destroyed right along with it. So now Jay-Z, right? So Jay-Z, all right, he's basically investing and basically GPS tracking parolees, you know, guys that serve a little time, get out, go on parole, and, you know, used to have the ankle around the wrist, I mean, excuse me, ankle around the, the bracelet around the ankle, well, that's what Jay-Z is invested in, all right? So this gave me also the understanding that these Jakes, all right, two-thirds of our people, you're gonna willingly take this mark, this mark of the beast, this chip. There's gonna be a lot of rebellion but it's also going to be a lot of uh, you Israelites, you you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native Seminole Indians. You're going to take this chip willingly. And chip is what I'm talking about. Well, what I'm talking about when I say chip is the RFID microchip, radio frequency identification chip. All right. Which is the mark of the beast. All right. So let me um read the title again. Jay-Z slam for investing and company and tracks parolees with GPS software, all right? And um, as I was reading this article, because I read the whole thing, I'm not gonna read it now. I'll leave the link, you can read it yourself. And um, I'm pretty sure there's other people out there, probably brothers, you know, brothers probably on it too. You know, I'm probably dissecting this whole thing with Jay-Z. But it says, Jay-Z fan are reporting outrage over his reported investment in a setup company that assists state and local governments to track parolees GPS monitoring technology. All right, so as you see there written in red, GPS mon monitoring technology is basically a link. So when I clicked on this link, all right, it gave me more understanding why Jay-Z, you know, he got into this, all right? Because these guys, um, you know, they supposed to be these thinkers and they invest in their money for the future. You know, this is Satan. Let me, uh, excuse me. Let me get out of this area. Mm -hmm. Let me see. It's, it's Satan. Let me pull up some. It's a little bad service area where I'm at. Let me get over here. All right, but um, but uh, it took me. It took me here, and I understand why Jay Z. You know, he was he was uh, you know, very excited to deal with Nip because of Nip Investments. You know, and what he stood for. All right. And um, now that I see why he invested into this, where that link, that article, 
which is of Jay-Z, all right, uh, basically investing into uh, tracking software, all right, tracking um, parolees, all right, tracking criminals. And he was once a criminal. He's supposed to be this 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 icon, this image from Brooklyn, you know, your, you know, the best rapper, this and that, you know. But now look, he's going. He he's basically forwarding, or let's say, he's forwarding the affliction onto you, Jakes, and also helping Esau to clamp down on you, Jakes, man. So now, anyway, it says, uh, Doctor Gladys West. The hidden figure behind GPS inducted into the Air Force Hall of Fame. All right. Now, this is an 87 year old woman. All right. She was a mathematician. OK. And she basically what it says. 87 year old mathematician was among a small group of women who did computering for a U.S. military in the era before electronic systems. All right. So she became part of the Hall of Fame because of her brilliant mind in helping. All right with with this gps thing of tracking individuals all right for the military the government you know so and, and she's jake and that just proves that jake is the creator of all things man all right whatever it is that the most High puts the spirit on us and our minds get into and jake go to creating and doing something new esau takes it you know because on this part they was helping esau all right, because they believe in America. They believe in the system. Our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. All right. So, but just the point, the 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 uh the the uh the point out is that Jake is creator of all things, man. All right. I believe the scriptures say um um Salaki, I forgot how it go. I'm not gonna butcher it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to make this quick as possible, so this is very brief and rushed. So bear with me. All right. So now you see this. All right. Um, I'm not gonna read all this. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Dr. Gladys West, an 87-year-old mathematician who played a major role in the invention in the invention of GPS, was inducted into the Air Force Space and Missile Pioneers Hall of Fame earlier this month. All right, so there you go, and this is the woman. So let's get back to Jay Z. Okay, I'm only want to just bring this out to brothers' attention. You know, may brothers go probably get into it, read a little more. But this is to, you know, do the spirit and power of your heart, Bashim Shai. This is also geared toward the mark of the beast. All right. Now you see these rich uh, millionaires, uh, uh, Israelites, well, those that, you know, that are calling themselves, well, basically today called Negroes, these rich black people, rich Hispanics. All right. They're getting into, they're getting into, all right, putting their money into what technology, and that technology is is helping Esau. Now I don't know what this was. See, that's Satan. <sighs> I want to make it quick, sharp, but you know how it goes. Uh, let's get back here. This was the article here. These pop-ups. Let's get that back rolling. All right, so. Uh, now it says Jay-Z fans are reportedly outraged. So people are outraged because they looked at Jay-Z as this 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 figure that would stand for black people, that would stand for the minorities. All right. But guess what? He's not standing for you. <laughs> he was brought and paid for a long time ago. He sold his soul a long time ago. And ain't nothing but truly a house nigga, man. You know, this is why you two thirds, you know, two thirds of our people. You you look as these rappers as your leaders, and they're not leaders, man. They're not leaders, man. All right. Before I even read on, because I'm so everywhere, Salakia, I'm gonna read the scripture. All right. Let the Lord speak, because I'm doing a lot of speaking. But let's let's let the Lord speak, man. All right. Revelations. Uh, what's that? Thirteen and sixteen. It says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. All right? So that's the chip. That is the RFID chip. Now, if you go into this word mark, all right? which it says in verse 16, 
you will understand and you will under, you will get you will see that this word mark goes into the Greek word karagma and karagma means what brand all right incision you know uh, the device placed up under the skin something being incision up under the skin in the body all right so this is how we know as uh, men of the Lord all right that this mark of the beast which they're going to force upon everyone because the scriptures say he calls of all and that's the one of the prophecies we're waiting on he's going to force this upon the people but before he forced this there's going to be people taking it willingly and right now there's many of people around the world taking it willingly you got sweden you got uh east india you got china you got um uh, australia all right you got a lot of edomites and i wouldn't be surprised jake right along with him because jake wants to live like esau all right so it says he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads so that means that this mark is going to be placed up under the skin in the body all right and that no man might buy or sell because without this you won't be able to buy nor sell you know if you get into and learn what is the new world order the whole goal for these elites the house of esau the hebrew edomites all right their goal is to change this new this old way into a new way of living okay so the way to buy things and that's why we're buying things through what our cell phones we're buying things everything through digital we're buying things through credit cards all right and some people are actually buying things through the way of the chip the way of the mark of the beast all right so it says he calls of all both small and great rich and poor all right so i wouldn't be surprised because we're in 2019 what jay-z is invested in as far as what uh technology to track to track parolees guys that get out of jail and receive a a, a, a ankle a ankle a ankle band it would be a chip i remember it was 2014 uh this well this nigga he was a brother but he fell out he brought out an article back in 2014 when we was in camp and it talked about how the government wanted to chip inmates and especially those who were going to go to who are going to go home and have to have ankle bracelets all right so i'm not surprised that jay-z is investing in this because this is if you invest now if you into that field and making money and investing in your money you know it, it will be what a smart idea okay for the carnal because they're looking for riches looking for that big pay all right you know this is why you got amtv you know he's always talking about cryptocurrency and things like that you know all this stuff jump on it now because later when it's booming you know you're gonna have a lot of money coming from it because you invest in it quick so this is what jay-z doing thinking as a businessman but a carnal man and not spiritual all right really a dead man okay so it says he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads and yes there's people that have chips inside of their heads you have people with chips inside of their spinal cord you have people with chips inside of their their legs their arms it says verse 17 that no man might buy or sell because that will be the new way of living this rfid microchip is the new way of living it will become what your new form of currency it will be it will be become your new form of identity and it is also a GPS tracker, all right? Radio frequency, okay? Identif identification, okay? So, <laughs> we, we, we almost out of here, brothers. Uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, he coined this year the year of Karagma. And with this Jay-Z, uh, people are outraged. They don't know the depths of it. They just outraged at the fact that Jay-Z is investing in uh, his money uh, and making money off of off of his own people you know off of esau slaving his slaving us just like when people brought out about michael jordan michael jordan invested i think in uh different jail cells you know you know making money off of off of the blood sweat and tears of his own people it's basically jail is slavery man you know now some of them guys they deserve it because they're criminals but some guys hey you know they could have a second chance you know but they're judged off of what Esau laws, not the most high laws. All right. So here we go, man.
So it says that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you won't be able to buy nor if you be able to sell unless you had the mark of the beast. Verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, which is 666. And it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score and six. All right. So there you go, man. So let me get back. You know, I know this is rushed, but, you know, I want to make it quick, you know, I'm trying to get it in, make it sharp and quick and powerful. All right. The Lord, the Lord's word is sharp, quick and powerful, sharpening any two edged sword. All right. So, you know, that's probably basically it, man. I ain't going to read none of all of this article, man. You can get into it. You just look it up. Um, it says, uh, let's see here. It says, I'm a criminal justice reform meeting. And I just discovered that Jay-Z is an investor in a company producing the ankle monitoring bracelets <laughs> used under the First Step Act. So he's working with the government and locking you niggas up. Or let's say, excuse me, and tracking you niggas. Okay? And it says what? Investor in a company producing the ankle monitoring bracelet. I wonder what it looks like. That's what I was looking for. You know, I was looking for it in a rush, trying to see what it exactly was. But I have the image already from men having ankle bracelets. You know, I have a brother that came home with an ankle bracelet, you know, can't leave the house, but too far. So I know what it looks like. We all know. But what's the new way? What is this new invest? Why is he investing in that? You know, what is it? They're going to be chipped, man. Or it could, it's a break because also, too, they have tags, which they call. Which are which are ankle which are wrist bracelets, which have the form of the ID. Um, excuse me, which have the form of the chip in it, okay, and plugged into your skin, man. You know these are the things that Esau is gonna force upon the people here in the world, man. You know, so I'm gonna wrap it up with um with one scripture that comes in mind. Uh, okay, Revelation chapter three. Okay, this is Revelations 3 and 10. It says, because thou has kept the word of my patience. Now, this is the Lord's servants. The Lord's men, all right, and few women and children. That's the Lord deemed as the elect. Okay, but starting with the men, you know, that have the understanding. Let's say the knowledge, the uh, wisdom, and the understanding of the Lord. You know, these uh, individuals, these elect these Israelites that are elected of the Most High, they're going to be delivered from this, man. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. What is the word of his patience? All right, us acknowledging who we are, rehearsing the righteous acts of the Most High. You know, not just calling ourselves Hebrew Israelites, but living as Hebrew Israelites and holding fast the word, doing what the Lord told us to do. And that's for us to go out and prophesy, man. Finish the work. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, Pray for the laborers. All right. So it says, because because thou has kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And what is the hour of temptation? When a force, when he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads. Okay. That is the hour of temptation. It says, which shall come upon all the world. And guess what? The, the microchip, the mark of the beast is happening, all right, and taking its course in other places of the world right now. That's why I believe, you know, just uh, in my belief, you know, Revelation 12 and 12, when it says he call, uh, he cometh down having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. America is going to have to catch up to the rest of the world, because when you look at China, China, their whole system is based off of biometrics. Facial recognition, scanning, and they're getting judged. All right, it's so it's so crazy out there in China, with with this new security system of biometrics, that these people are being judged for everything that they do. You know, if they litter, they're getting in trouble and getting fined because it's is is what they call to, in America Big Brother watching heavenly man. Okay, China believes that they're the new world, and America is the old world. But all of you are sadly mistaken because the Lord told us through Edris, he said, when when uh, Esau go down, Jacob is up next to follow. So the elect of the most high 
has next to rule this world, man. And all of you guys, all right, when you go to into World's War Three, you're going to meet our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. He's going to meet you with the angels. And he's going to take the crowns off your heads, man. Okay? The Lord said, my determination is to gather the nations, man. So guess what? Our Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, he's going to take the kingdom, okay, from you Edomites and from you heathens, all right? So it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, man. And boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, man, we're truly in a time of seeking mercy in this moment, man. All right, you read Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, it talks about the time and seasons under the heavens, a time of war, a time of peace, a time of love. All right, it's, it's a time for everything. And right now we're in a time of speaking out and we're in a time of hate and we're in a time of war. And what comes after all of these? Peace, all right, which is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So you're going to be tried, man, woman, child. Okay, you're going to be tried. You're going to be put at a situation where there's life or death to take the, mark, the RFID microchip, to take the mark of the beast. What you're going to do? Now, a lot of you will say, I'm not taking it. Well, guess what? Let me hit you with something. It has to be the will of the Most High that you're not going to take it. Because the Lord said he was going to keep his one, the ones that kept the word of his patience from the hour of temptation. And this fulfills Isaiah 65 and 11. He said, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be thirsty. He said, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be vexed. This time is coming, man. All right. It's coming, man. And I'm getting pumped up because I know it, man. I know it. All right. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So you're going to suffer, man. Okay. Verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. All right. Take thy salvation. And this is why we got to keep pushing, brothers, and keep pushing and pushing and pushing. All right. Until Shiloh come. Yahweh Shai, man. The Lord is, is, is truly uplifting our faith by giving us more sightings of the chariots, man. More of his prophecies being revealed. Esau just now admitted for all of these years that the so-called UFOs are real. After all them arguments, talks, and debates going across the YouTube, going across television, all of the people out here that say, oh, you know, aliens or this and that. Well, guess what? The government just admitted it, man. You know, and like I said in the video before, I believe that they're admitting it because why? Project Blue Beam, man. All right. Because they probably going to stage something like that. Okay. You can't put it past these devils. They will. But guess what? Us of the whole four elect, we know who we worship, man. Remember what Yahweh Shai told that woman. He said, we know who we worship. You not know who you worship, man. We know who we worship. And this is why everybody is at our necks, man. Everybody want to demonize us, man. But guess what? Like Ezekiel said, when that time come to pass, then you're going to know there was prophets, okay, among you, man. Prophets on your cell phone, which you watching a video. Prophets on the street corner who you watched and you thought they was crazy guys, man. Radicals and, you know, uh, uh, cults, you know, whatever you call it, man. You're going to realize, all right, when our Lord Yahweh Shai fulfilled Revelations 1 and 7, okay, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. You're going to realize at the very end and the most high going to smoke you, man. All of you, you rappers, all of you whores, all, all of you hoes, man. You all going to get put to death, man. All right. This, this is, this is breaking news, man. This is breaking news, man. All right. As, as I see it through the spirit of the Lord, you know, looking at this, Jay-Z slammed. For investing in company and tracks parolees with GPS software, I think of the chip, man. Okay? I think of the mark of the beast, man. You know, the deep sinister part about what he's doing. Instead of just looking at the outside, look at the inside, man. Look at the long run. What's the long run for this place? Everyone being microchip. 
The long run is depopulation. Okay, the long run is they going into World War III thermonuclear missiles being shot off. Okay, there's a video. Um, a brother put up put he he uh I guess he copied and pasted from another page. Uh, brother from Philly. Um, I forgot your name, brother. You know, I talked to him. You know, wasn't too too you know chopped it up with him, brother from Philly. He did a he had a video on his page, man, that uh showed you how um Esau is is you know we all know this but this video was bad man because it was the all the the, the narration and the talk on how you know they're gonna go in the third world war man all right and that and I'm thinking of that video now man I just can't think of the uh the name of the video and the brother's page I can find it but you know we want this on the fly man all right but we we got the end brothers and um I'm gonna leave it at that man so um old brother see this news Go look into it as well. I don't know what the hell this is. Just pop-ups, but you know, Jay-Z, you know, just like neighborhood Nick, you know, they're invested in in microchips, man. Just put it like that. Because the new way of tracking people is them being implanted with microchips. Now I don't know all the details of what Jay-Z business is as far as this matter. I did read the article, it didn't go in depth. But maybe it's more articles, maybe it's more videos, you know, down the line that can come up. But if he's invested in this technology of tracking, it has to do deal with the RFID microchip. And as Elder Apostle to Hardcoin this year, the year of Karagma, that's the year we in, man. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.